Hello guys, uh, this is uh, video number uh, number three and I'll show you how uh, to run Kali Linux as a virtual machine and we will talk about some basic commands in, uh, in Kali Linux. So we go ahead and start normal start our machine it will take a while so if you want to skip like a minute from the video you go right click start and normal start just to start the machine this should be uh, Kali Linux and it doesn't matter if you choose the first one or second one or or whatever it doesn't matter actually I'll just start fresh here with a new with a new uh, virtual box we will open it it will I say don't it will take a while if you want to skip a minute from the video I just don't have the option to pause it I either start or end the, uh, the recording so that's why I'm saying if you want to skip a minute shouldn't take long okay Okay, let me tell you, here the username started, the username is uh, root, R -O -O -T, and the password is T-O-O-R, okay, so we'll just put the username and you know, the password, the reason why we are using this virtual machine, it's uh, because it's safe. I'm sorry that the demo has started again. So it's, uh, let's go back to the username R O T D O O R. Okay, it's, uh, it's open now. So the reason we use this because uh, to protect your uh, Windows, to protect your computer. This is like. This is like an operating system inside your operating system, so it's more it's more protected for the for the operation you'll do. The first thing here is let's get familiar with the terminal, the terminal here, and this is what we will be using from here. The applications you see database assessment vulnerability analysis and password attacks, wireless attacks and uh, password cracking tools like John like uh, uh, like Crunch like Cool we'll use those okay so let's get familiar with this uh, the first thing is I want to show you is list ls if you hit ls will show you the list of the files that you have in home let's start first with the present working directory you are on root so if you open the files you will see you are on root which is home. Home had desktop, documents, music, mutas, public, templates, video. You see it's like uh, another computer inside yours. Another another window inside yours. So if you hit LS, we'll show you the same the same folders that you have on root. So just say root, but it's home. Okay? Now, if you want to know how to use uh, 
ls put map which is manual for the ls let's show you here how to use this command it will navigate you here uh, tells you most mo uh, the uses for the ls how can you use it with what you can use it with and it tells you press q to quit just quit so let's try ls l we'll show you the files and what's inside the files and when it's created and uh, <clears throat> uh, it will show you the code for it like this is uh, write execute and read write and execute and show you the secret uh, the certain groups it's like certain codes for uh, for the mode of the of the file like who can control this file who can uh, which groups are this file available for to see or to edit which is read write execute read is only to see write you can some editing you can edit for your own execute you can change it from the root okay and uh, the other one we will use the other one other than ls we will use the how to do updates and install like uh, how to update or install an application so you use the command apt dash get if you want to update press update it will update i've been updated that like uh, a few hours ago so apt get update oh this is a new machine so okay now it's done wait until it says done don't interrupt the process and app get let's install the one we will be using later which is terminator terminator it's uh it's an app that will help you uh, it's an app like a terminal but will help you to uh, divide the terminal into divide it into horizontal or vertical will be like four windows i have it so i really i don't think it let me install it because i already have it so let's let's look in the applications and the terminator should be terminator no i don't have it so i didn't install it i'll go back again app get install terminator okay so the source is temporarily unavailable. Okay. Still have the same error. Um, you will not have this error. I just don't know why I'm having this error another process using another process using it okay sorry i forgot to tell the order is uh, the command is clear to clear everything you have written i still have the same error well never mind it I will I'll try it again later so uh, there's another command to change your IP 
which is if dot big. Don't start doing anything until you change your IP. If config will show you the IPs here and this is what you want to change and if you uh, later when we will uh, put our, when we will have our uh, wireless uh, LAN which we will attach to the to our laptop to do the to uh, penetrate the like uh, the networks around us like Wi-Fi so we will see here is W we'll see one like this W L A N C R that's for wireless we don't have wireless I, I do really have a Wi-Fi but when you open the virtual box and go into Cali you'll not see a wireless you'll only see wired connected which that's that's how it consider it because it's connected through your laptop so it's considered as a wire connected. You, you do not see a wireless on this one. Okay. So config, if you want to change, you'll be changing this address for now. The ether. F config ETH zero down. You have to turn it off before you change the address, the IP for you. Then config for ETH, ETH0. You have to put the, the hardware for Ether. You want to put an. Uh, an IP of 0011100112334455. The reason I put this because it's called, it's, you see, 11223344555 one, one, two, two, three, three, two, uh, four, four, five, five, and 00. zero. Uh, you want it to match. It's not going to happen if you put 0011. Zero, zero, one, one. That's not going to happen. So now it's have been changed because it's not showing any errors or whatever. That means it's changed. So now you go back and turn it on again. F config and ETH zero for this. You, you do it up now. So it's up now then you check if it has been changed or not I'll see it has been changed here okay this is how you should start uh, this is like just a, a basic thing you have to change your IP first next video I will show you how to keep it changed because uh, you need to pay attention to this uh, after you power off the terminal, after you power off the system, and you come back to open it, you'll see it's back to the same IP. So you want to keep it changed. Next video, I will show you how to. Uh, next video, I will show you how to uh, keep it uh, changed forever, so it doesn't reset. <coughs> I hope you enjoyed the video and. Uh, please subscribe for the channel and have a good one. Thank you.